ओम शांति वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यू टू अ हैप्पी न्यू ईयर दैट इज़ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड टूडे वी आर डूइंग रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर्थ रिकॉर्डिंग सुप्रीम फादर वॉन्स अस टू ऑन दिस फर्स्ट वेरी डे टू हेल्प अदर्स टू एक्सपीरियंस द डिफरेंट पावर्स विच आर द एक्चुअल एट पावर्स विच वी टॉक अबाउट इन स्परिचुअलिटी एंड ही वॉन्स अस टू मेक अदर पीपल एक्सपीरियंस दैट पावर एंड हाउ इज़ दैट पॉसिबल इज वॉट वी कैन टू लर्न ओवर देयर so it's like somebody gets to meet you or just look at you also and just feel your vibrations and get the answers is it really possible yes through spirituality it is so supreme father says may you be an angelic form while you walk and move and enable others to experience the rays of the eight powers coming from you experience rays of the eight powers coming from you now those rays of eight powers means when our thoughts are very powerful then they turn into rays which have got higher frequency and some souls can catch that frequency now the condition underlying condition is that the rays have to be very powerful so god says when you place your when you place very expensive flawless diamonds in front of a light what happens imagine this ball right here i put a diamond in front of it and put on the light what's going to happen yes you're going to see those seven rays coming out of it you can see various colors in the same way when your form becomes angelic that means we are no no longer body conscious we don't have thoughts about greed or worry or comparison or we are competing with someone or we have got lust for things then others will experience rays of the eight powers coming from you as you move and walk around so exactly what is happening is we are able to discern what is right and what is wrong in terms of thought whether we are thinking greedy thoughts or whether we are thinking very thoughts of contentment so if i am thinking thoughts of contentment obviously i am exhibiting power of self control right i am able to power, have power of discernment power to judge power to decide power to withdraw now these these powers are experienced by the people provided we are exhibiting them in our own thoughts that means our own thoughts have to be like that so that other people can feel it so god then says others will experience rays of the eight powers coming from you as you walk and move some will receive a feeling of tolerance coming from you so if you have experienced or if you have worked over and over on tolerance people have said some things to you people have pointed fingers at you and you have always exhibited power to tolerate then if you're walking around and some situation comes in some more person just feels that that person is supposed to have tolerance during that moment so that person might be thinking about the situation in their life and they come across you and suddenly they are feeling like okay i think i can tolerate this i think i can overcome this and that is coming from you as a vibration they don't even know you're just walking around moving around they just look at you and they feel calm and composed and they feel tolerant so this is possible through spirituality some will have a feeling of the power of decision making they're not able to make any decision and they'll be like oh what should i do what should i do and how should i go about it and what will I? and suddenly they meet you or you just move in front of them or you just walk in that area and you're spreading the aura of power of clarity and decision making and other people will have a clear sense of understanding some will receive a feeling of one power and others of another power how is that possible for that we have to have a very powerful thought process going on in our mind we have to have clarity in our own mind we have to have a connection with shiv baba on a constant basis we have to have pure thinking we have to have complete yoga with shiv baba and satyuk that means we don't have any greed no attachment no wants and desires of the old world that's how clarity is there if we are ourselves stuck in the muck if we are ourselves stuck in the muck then how can we be the lotus so this is only possible when we have reached that stage that we are living in this world but we are still not living for this world and there's a big difference about it and you can learn this difference that you're living in this world but not for the world you living in this world not for the world is learned in a seven day course in brahma kumaris where you can go ahead and learn this art of living om shanti